Hi, welcome to module four. We're gonna be looking at trigonometric functions. So a big part of that is knowing degrees and radians. Really, these are just two different ways of measuring angles. Degrees and radians are two different ways of measuring it. Uh, kind of like temperature, you might think of Celsius and Fahrenheit, where they both can represent a temperature, and they just have different numbers. Well, degrees and radians are similar. You can represent an angle with either one. They're just two different ways of measuring it, two different scales. But we want to be able to go back and forth between them. You might start off with degrees and want radians or vice versa. So it's important to know how to convert. And really what we need to know is this ratio right here. 180 degrees over pi radians or pi rad. In fact, you might not even see rad written. Often that's not shown as a unit, but for our case it helps the clarity, so I'm writing it in. Now why is this ratio important? 180 degrees over pi rad. This is equal to 1. 180 degrees is pi radians and vice versa. So this is very convenient when we want to do conversions because converting is all about multiplying by 1. We're allowed to multiply by 1 because anything times 1 is itself. x times 1 is still x. But what we're choosing is to multiply by 1 in a creative way to help us convert. This is something that's a very common trick in math. Multiplying by 1, we can do it. We just choose 1 in a form that's beneficial. Uh, it's also worth noting, by the way, that we can write this as pi radians over 180 degrees. Still a good one. It's just flipping it, inverting it. So we're going to see both have their uses, depending on what you want to convert. So let's take a look. Let's say we started with something like 60 degrees. But I want to convert this to radians. Well, I'm going to use this ratio. Again, I'm allowed to multiply by 1 because I'm not technically changing it. I'm just doing it creatively. So the thing to keep in mind is which of these two forms are we going to use? Well, I've got degrees on top. I want to get rid of degrees and end up with radians. So what do I got to do? I have to put the degrees on the bottom. I want degrees to cancel. It's kind of like if I want to get rid of x, well, I have to divide by x. In this case, I have degrees, so I want to divide by degrees. But if I'm multiplying this in, I've got to make sure it's pi radians on top. So I'd actually multiply this out. 60 over 180 is the same as 1 over 3. So I can think of this as pi over 3 radians. And that would be this angle in radians. 60 degrees is the same as pi radians. Let's look at another example. Um, Let's look at a bigger number even. If I use 360 degrees, again, if I want, this is a full circle. Well, if I want to convert to radians, again, I have degrees, so I got to divide by degrees, or put the degrees on the bottom to cancel out. Degrees will cancel with degrees, and I'm left with radians on top. In this case, 360 divided by 180, we punch it in, we get 2. 2 pi radians. One full 360 degrees, one full circle, is the same as 2 pi radians. These are equivalent. Two different ways of representing the same thing. But you might also start off with radians. So you might have something like, I don't know, pi upon 2 radians. And you want to get this to degrees. Especially a lot of people like working with degrees because it's something they're more used to. So, in this case we have radians, we have to cancel the radians, get rid of it, divide it out, put it on the bottom. So we're multiplying by pi radians on the bottom and still have to put the 180 degrees on top. Again, in some cases you won't even see radians written, but in our case it's nice and convenient because we can see they clearly cancel. Now 180 over, or the pi's will also cancel by the way, and then we have 180 over 2. 180 over 2 degrees. Well, that's the same as 90 degrees. So we can conclude 90 degrees is the same as 2 pi radians. And it's worth mentioning, you're not always going to see it written as pi on something. This pi upon 2 is just the actual pi. 3.14 extended on, that's never ending number. So we write it as pi upon 2 to be exact, but we can make that an approximate decimal. So you might see radians written sometimes as a decimal. You might have something like 1.67. Well, 1.67 radians, we can still convert this to degrees. We still do the same method. It's still, oh, I want to cancel out radians, so put pi on the bottom. 
put the radians on the bottom, 180 still goes on top. It's just, now we multiply this through. And the thing is, I don't actually have a calculator with me, so I'm not going to figure out what this is, but it would be 1.67 times 180, all divided by pi, the actual pi you just put in your calculator, you use the pi button, don't approximate the 3.14, use the pi button to get more exact. This would give you some number. Some number, oops, not 10, might be 10, but I doubt it. It'd be some number, and that would be your degrees. So, you can have radians written just as a decimal. It's perfectly appropriate to do so, but this is how you do the conversions.